Hello, my name is Jim Borders. I am the Vice President of Education for SecureSet and the Senior Manager for Cybersecurity Education uh, within the Education Department at Flatiron School. And I'm here to talk to you today about picking the right cybersecurity program. We've got our cybersecurity engineering program and our cybersecurity analytics program. And to those of you who are coming from outside the cybersecurity field altogether, it may be a little bit confusing about how to pick which one really fits what you need. And so we're going to talk a little bit today about why there is two programs and, and what the differences are. How do you pick the right one? So for our two programs, I can tell you our graduates have gone into literally hundreds of different cybersecurity jobs, uh, hundreds of different job titles. But most of those can be uh, narrowed down or grouped into two different areas. The first one are the analytical positions. These are the ones that if they require an understanding of the cyber environment, but they also uh, need, require that you understand who the adversary is, who this malicious actor out there is, and what are they trying to achieve. Um, problem solving skills are gonna be important, but they're focused on, on human interactions and preferences. What are people's goals? What are they trying to accomplish? Cybersecurity engineers still need problem solving skills, but they're going to be much more technically focused. We're going to teach them advanced skills in uh, building and configuring networks, uh, secure architecture, things like that. Um, problem solving skills are much more technically oriented uh, and detail oriented. And really, both tracks can end you up in a management position if that's your goal. Um, but the engineering career path also often leads folks into kind of a senior technician role. Um, so those are a couple of basic differences. Let me give you a couple of similarities just so you understand what you're going to get in either program. Either program is going to give you good foundational uh, computer systems and network type skills. Um, a lot of our graduates uh, have come in with very little knowledge and we're a school we're here to teach. So I want to want to emphasize the fact that you're going to get the foundational skills at in both programs, the difference is the engineering program is going to be moving a lot quicker uh, on those technical skills. The uh, GRC or governance, risk management and compliance component is the exact same in both courses. And this is an extremely important part of our programs uh, because GRC has a lot to do. Risk management is is a huge part of any cybersecurity job. Both programs are going to expose you to some Python coding. Again, the engineering program a little more, um, but both of them uh, some basic exposure, exposure so you can do the things you need to do. Both programs emphasize open source tools, not vendor specific tools. And the reason we do that is because you can take those skills to any company and be able to work which, with whichever system they've uh, decided to purchase, as opposed to only knowing how to work with one user interface. Both courses are built on that 50-50 lecture versus lab model, where you're going to spend half your time getting taught in a traditional lecture type mode and half your time working on labs, uh, applied learning, fingers on keyboard. Both programs are going to require the exact same minimum requirements, minimum specifications for a computer. Um, the, the thing that I always tell folks here is that if you were going to go off to cosmetology school or auto mechanic school, you wouldn't go to Walmart and buy the cheapest clippers or wrenches that you could, could get there. You would want a professional level tool because this is going to be your trade. And that's what we want to do in uh, cybersecurity is get you working at a difficult level um, and you're going to need a more powerful system than a Chromebook or a MacBook Air. Um, both programs are developed with written and verbal communication skills built into the assignments because our employer, the people who employ our graduates, tell us that's a difficult thing for them to find is people with good communication skills. Um, and both courses end with, both programs end with an interdisciplinary capstone course that's really going to bring all of your courses together. So those are similarities. Uh, let me introduce to you a, uh, a saying from an ancient Chinese strategist called Sun Tzu. Uh, the first part of this quote you may have heard before, know the enemy, know yourself, your victory will never be endangered. 
The second part is less often quoted, know the ground, know the weather, your victory will be total. And I think both parts there are really relevant to explaining what cybersecurity is and what it does, and also the difference between the two programs. So the analyst, when it thinks about knowing the enemy, it is looking at who this malicious actor is, or in some cases, it's an inadvertent actor. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But who is this malicious actor out there? What are their intentions? They want to know tactic techniques and procedures, um, but they're very interested in what end they're trying to reach with them. The engineer is less concerned with the who and more concerned with the how part. What, uh, what tactics and, and exploits are out there that bad guys are using, and it's less specific to which actor is using them. Uh, so maybe a little bit more emphasis for the enemy here on the analyst one, but the engineer has, has key areas of knowledge as well. Knowing yourself is kind of the opposite. There's definitely some emphasis for the engineer. The analyst needs to understand what information are we protecting? Who are we? What are we protecting? And even prioritization of that. What's the most important thing that we need to protect on our system? Um, and then who is going to be interested in that? Who is going to be interacting with that information? And here, as I mentioned, uh, is that insider threat. Maybe it's an inadvertent actor, or maybe it's a malicious actor who's part of your organization. But that's something the analyst might be concerned about in the know yourself category. The engineer is designing and implementing a secure network um, so that everything can happen and happen securely. Uh, so they should be able to over, oversee all users coming and going, uh, all, all parts of your organization, all terminals that are engaging with your system. Um, they need to be constantly aware of any updates and thinking about how to secure the network of the future as well as the network of today. The last part, the know the ground, know the weather, this is all about understanding the cyber terrain. Um, for the engineer, that's going to primarily look at, say, who is, say, our system. What is on our system? How big is our network? What does it look like? Who is, how does it interact with the larger internet? The analyst is going to be concerned about what our own network looks like because that's an important uh, uh, piece of cyber terrain. Uh, and if you have to fight the battle there, you need to know it. But they also need to know what are we interacting with? what uh you know what other uh what other threats are out there on the larger internet where are our people going in the normal course of their jobs uh and how does that affect our network so these you can see there's a, the same phrase is very useful for uh, describing both parts of cybersecurity but the way we approach it the perspective that we have is different for in analysts and for engineers so what is the, the, the bare bones difference between these two programs? Well, this is a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see analytics is a 12-week program, engineering is a 15-week program. Uh, analysts are going to start off with kind of the nine weeks of introduction to, uh, to systems and networks, whereas systems and networks is going to be a primary area of emphasis for the engineer for the entire 15 weeks of their program. The advanced courses in the analytics course are going to be in the areas of logs and detection or SIM and in the and in hunt skills, whereas the engineer is going to be looking at more advanced at work in applied cryptography or application security, things like that. The, uh, the, the tools that they're using overlap um, somewhat, but, uh, but really emphasize some different things in, in how we work with them. And you can see the course list is a little bit different. Um, the the, uh, the anal analysts are taking a class um, in, uh, in both strategy and threat intelligence. We've combined that class into a shorter one for the engineers called uh, cyber threat intelligence. Uh, the, uh, the, the GRC course I already mentioned is the same, um, but those advanced courses in engineering are different than the advanced hunt skills that we do in analytics. And the, uh, so obviously the, the jobs we're shooting for are different, and that's relevant for you to know. And just the way we approach problems are going to be different in the two programs. So that's kind of the, the, the bare bones uh, tactical differences. Um, Another important question is, where are you starting from? When you look at your own familiarity with, uh, with information technology, where are you sitting right now? 
A technical background is, is really not necessary for the analyst program. We definitely want you to do some of your own research ahead of time. And we've got a pre-work course that's going to be very valuable for you. But you, need, you, you don't need to be uh, an advanced programmer to get into the analytics program. Um, but we do want to see some analytical experience. And as you're looking down comparing these two, you'll notice um, that third bullet on each one, you know, analysts uh, often often come with a college background, but that's not required, but they're in jobs where they're thinking a lot and they're making comparisons and they're doing research and things like that. Engineers are more technical problem solvers. Um, the second bullet uh, talks about the curiosity and love of problem solving in, the, in a more macro sense. Um, the engineers, it's the more detail oriented. What makes it work or how do we fix this so that it works the way it's supposed to? Um, engineers, definitely we love to see uh, the uh, a little bit of programming knowledge, object-oriented uh, type programming. We'd love to see someone who's had at least a little bit of experience on a command line uh, over just using the graphic user interface. Um, but I will tell you that we have brought um, cooks and clarinet players through our engineering program. And what made them successful in our program was the work they put in ahead of time to make sure they understood the basic terms and were familiar with some of the basics of things like virtualization that you might have done in our Hacking 101. The worst ways you can choose this program are listed right here. Um, the first two, cost and length of program, um, I'm pleased to say that I hear from a lot of our students about how much we are able to help them out. And that means a tremendous amount to me. Um, one of the few um, dissatisfied customers, if you want to use the term, um, that I've had was someone who actually came in and they looked at the analyst program and said it's quicker and cheaper. So I'm going to take that even though I want to be an engineer. And they just didn't get the training they wanted. So if you're basing your choice on cost or length of program, my thought for you is after a full year on the job, is the sacrifice really going to be that large um, to do the other program? So by no means is this an attempt to upsell or get, make you go for the more expensive or the larger program. If your goals are leading you to more of an analytical program, then don't take the longer one, but make sure you're picking the one that's right for you and that that cost, that extra few weeks, those will, those will work themselves out, I think, far quicker than you imagine. Um, don't stay away from engineering because you really fear STEM engineering type coursework. We can work with you if you can set yourself up. Um, go out and learn some of the basics uh, and get familiar with that. Uh, be willing to learn um, because the program is going to kind of teach a lot very quickly. That's the boot camp type environment. Um, don't join one program or the other because you love coding. There is a little bit of coding in both. There's definitely room for coding in cybersecurity. It can be a very important skill. Um, there's another whole program that Flatirons offers that is just about coding. So there are other ways to go about being a coder. Um, and, I, and that would be on the love side. On the fear side, we can teach you what we need to, you to know. Uh, it's not so much about writing hundreds of lines of code a day. It's about being able to automate simple processes or find code that works for you or maybe with small adaptations can, can do the things you want it to do. When you look at the jobs that are available for each of the two programs, you'll see that the list is a beginning. Uh, first three items are actually the same, though they come about them come at them from different perspectives. So they are somewhat different in the detail. The last two are definite root tellers. If you want to be a penetration tester or a security engineer, you need to be in the engineering program. You're not going to get there from the analytical program. The penetration tester in particular is going to learn some analyst skills on the job too to do their job well. If you want to be a SOC analyst, which is the most frequent job I see folks going into from the analyst program, um, then the way to do that is definitely um, the analyst side. Last comment I've got for you, the most relevant factor for choosing your program is the types of work that you're interested in doing, the requirements for the job that you want to get. Take a look not just at what the job title is, but what are the, what are the specific requirements and do, does the program you're picking line up with those? Because otherwise you could be shooting at the wrong target. And I've got an archery picture up here just because I've been on, on shooting ranges where somebody has locked in on the wrong target 
and they're putting uh, they're shooting at the wrong target and none of those points count for them they don't get them where they want to go so take a look at your final destination and that should be your biggest key on which program is the right one for you I hope that uh, this helps in your selection of a cybersecurity program, and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful time and very fulfilling time uh, in whichever program you choose. Have a great day.